guys, just got back home. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time to record today with the uh, with issues like my um, brakes having uh, some low pressure. So I had to bleed my car, or bleed the brakes. Then immediately after I had to do line up and grid for the uh, track sprint. Alright guys, it's been quite the hectic morning for me. <laughs> I had to I woke up realizing it was uh, after my alarms. And then um I had to bleed the brakes at the track because yesterday was just not fun. Coming into this turn right here, uh <laughs> the pedal would go like halfway before I got pressure. Real sketch. But now, you know, feels good. I hope it stays like that. Especially because we're going into T3, T4 over there. Uh, T4 is that hairpin clubhouse turn. If you've been here, um, yeah, I need I need the break for that corner. <laughs> uh, After that, I kind of was just like beat, so I just kind of like chilled, ate, um, kind of prepped the car for the time trial portion, and oh man, I'm getting blinded. Um, and then the first, the first session of the time trial, uh, I got super peeved, super angry. <clears throat> um, so what? So what the time trial was was half of the group goes out. You go out, you do three hot laps, and then you come in. Uh, on the uh, on the out lap, <clears throat> right as we we're getting started to go, the car behind me was like right on my bumper the entire time. And you know, there's only nine cars on track; we can space out pretty evenly. Um, and then I get into the braking zone, and I'm not confident in my brakes, um, so I don't know where my braking marker would be. Uh, I kind of like get startled because I just noticed she was on my bumper and I go off course. Um, don't know why she did that. I don't know, it wasn't cool. I uh, could have happened if I braked harder than her and she hit me, but <clears throat> it's fine, nothing happened. But you know, like I said, there's nine cars on track and I think she could have gave me some space. There was no need to be on my bumper. Uh, she should know that she has a faster car than me. She had a 370, it's got an HR. I have a DE, you know? That thing's gonna pick up on me on the straight, so why be on, why be on my butt from the get-go? But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, she pulled up some fast times. Uh, good driver, for sure. I just don't know why she was on my bumper. That, just didn't make sense to me.
fun. But uh, overall good because well, not overall good. That that second lap, as you as you've seen or will see, uh, I go off course again at T1, and everyone everyone in the in the timing booth and and all the track managers and all the the staff for the time trials <laughs> were giving me crap, but not not meanly, but they're just joking at me. But um, so that sucked. So I'm like, I'm super pissed at this point. I've gone off once because of someone or myself and you know, I didn't have confidence in her being right behind me. Um, two, because I missed my braking marker with the brake issues I've had and I was kind of like in an anger mindset that I missed my brake marker. And then the third lap, I, I just pull a flyer. It was awesome. I. Uh, I got a uh, 125 nine something, so I'll put that up. Yeah, I'll, I'll put up some videos. I might come back to kind of explain things, but uh, overall it was a good day. Uh, the only bummer was when I went off course twice, but what are you gonna do? You gotta push the car, I guess. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna be trying to fix this issue. I think I boiled my brake fluid or there's an air pocket somewhere, but at the end of the time trial session, the last one, uh, we hit the checkered. <clears throat> going to slow down the car for t1 so i started braking relatively early around like six five or four i don't i really don't remember but the, the pedal just goes to the floor all right i'll catch you guys later see ya